I want to beat Wall of Flesh today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, little guy. You haven't even beaten the Brennan Cthulhu yet. What makes you think that you can beat a really fast flesh wall? Who haven't I killed yet? Oh, Brenna Cthulhu. That's who it is. Good job. You're actually using your head now, big man. Before this video starts, if you enjoy this type of content, how about subscribe and help me get to 400 subs by the end of the year. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Well, you see, now that we're here, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm completely battle ready and feel confident that I can take on anything this brain has to offer. This stupid little brain had nothing on me, and I drained its health faster than me running from that dog yesterday. Unlike that dog, for some reason, the brain threw me onto the ceiling like a priest in the exorcism, but I still managed to kill it. Whew. What? What just happened? Later on, I got a little too cocky and tried the Eater of Worlds, but I quickly learned to just leave him alone. I thought some therapeutic building was needed, so I built an AFK farm. But I built the farm too high up, so it kind of doesn't really work too well. Anyways, it was time to kill the Wall of Flesh now, and I used an arena designed by Mr. Steffi for this fight. And I must say, it looks promising. Wow. Kinda nervous. Oh my god, no way. The craziest thing to ever happen to me in Terraria just happened. The aftershadow of the Night's Edge killed the Wall of Flesh right after it killed me. That is insane. And I feel like everyone already knows this whole process, so I won't bore you with it. Break the altars. Mine the oars. Mine the oars. Die. Mine the oars. I also got a Nimbus rod while it was raining, which is really lucky of me. Now you see, this update brought a new little quirky boss into Terraria known as Mechdusa. This boss somehow manages to kill all the fun out of the mechanical bosses and replace it with exasperation. How in the world is this supposed to even happen? Yeah. But you see, I did not quit. I was simply backing out to think about what to do next. No, I'm never doing this again. Whew. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. Me dying became an extremely common pattern inside of these fights. Mm. Oh my god. Did I mention that the destroyer is still a joke? Well, it's still a joke. This is possible. Indeed it was. Yet still, at the end of the day, I still feel unaccomplished. And oh me oh my, it's the wyvern trying to get a little piece of that cake. Okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Ah, no. Oh. Ah, no, no way, I just did that. Dead. So quick, so quick, so quick. Wow. I'm gonna cry. Ah, I actually did it. Would you look at that? Maybe I'm a little bit too anticlimactic, but like, I don't care. My soul's drained after trying to do that. Hey, hey, hey. I, I've never once thought that hard about trying to kill a boss. Fun fact about Medusa, it drops a special item called the Wolf of Iron, which is pretty cool. Probably one of the only good things its boss has actually done for me in the past two days. And you know, going into this challenge, I never actually thought it was going to be this difficult. But yet Terraria has somehow managed to drive me of every single brain cell on my body. Now y'all might remember way back in part one, when I had a whole little bit about how like the surface was too bad to even go up there anymore and whatever. Well, it's finally time to fix that problem. I hope you know where I'm going with this. <sighs> I did it! Yay, celebrate! Now the only thing left to do is just to beat the game, which won't be too hard. And with that, I leave you here. We got into hard mode, beat Megadusa, and somewhat fixed our world. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and help me get to 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I really think we can do it. And until the next one, goodbye.